Hey guys, it's OKB, and this is the Fuku deals for Rage Obito, Six Pass Naruto, and uh, Sorry Deputy Hiruzen. I'm actually with the Coffin community, there's actually quite a few people, and everyone can say hi if you want, text, I'm on here. If you guys want uh, to join us whenever Fuku comes out, whenever some random stream comes out, I flash stream, so I randomly stream at random times, different times. Um, you guys can join me on Discord. Uh, which is in the descriptions of this video. There's also other stuff like coffin ingots, which teaches you how to get ingots um, without paying money. And a coffin story, which I'm working on, um, I'm going to narrate over Naruto uh, episodes really quickly, like three times as fast, maybe. Um, and so you guys can rewatch it very, in a really fast way. Okay, um, we're going to talk about this, but in general, all right, the basically Lucky Wheel is the best event. Um, Kono's Great Tree is second, but Lucky Wheel is just much better. Uh, Kon Kono's Tree is actually the second best until you spend a ton, which is usually the case. Kono's Great Tree actually becomes better than Fuku Deals um, if you spend a huge amount and you're on level 7 tree, which we actually are going to do. Um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of spending on there. Okay, so Fuku Deals in general, I get rated at 3 out of 5. That's a general overview. A bunch of power items I don't like. But, you know, there's a battle power pack here if you don't like the... Um, unit six fast nine is always nice though. Rage Obito, I also give three out of five, maybe two point five, maybe two point eight out of five, um, in terms of competitiveness. But we still don't know too much about Rage Obito yet. Even though we know his abilities, it's hard to say just how good he is. But I can guarantee that he's not going to be immediately become meta. You know, some guy might find a really good team with him and he'll become meta. But I. I'll say there's like a 10% chance, 20% chance that that will happen, all right? Based on what I'm hearing from people who have him and look through him, he's not popular at the moment. So I suggest you wait until we find an actually really good way to use him. Okay, so that's the overview. That's in the end of the intro. So we're going to go over the events really quickly. And of course, um, anyone in Discord, you guys can interrupt me if you want to add something to whatever we're saying. I'm going to go down the list. But first, I'm going to talk about Fugi deals. Um, Power items, 500, already don't like this, Cultivation Scrolls, 10, uh, yeah, don't like the 500, 1,000 is obviously better because they don't have this cultivation thing calculated in. Um, 3,000, I mean, the value goes up as you go along, but 3,000 I don't like because of the Cultivation Scrolls again. Uh, yeah, I really wish they don't have, I, w I wish like maybe they had Cultivation Scrolls at the 500 only. That would be fine with me, you know, because it's not a lot. But yeah, it's, it's not really not worth it. It's a power function that is below almost everything. Okay, refines, charm. So yeah, 3,000, not so happy. 8,000, obviously, if you have the 10,000 and 8,000, you want to do the 10,000, which is 2,000 coupons more and gives you way more. Uh, but yeah, if you only have 8,000, I really suggest you wait. If you're really that impatient, then I would say it's just okay. I mean, they have Milkaloos, which is like, eh, it's okay. This training potions, which is nice. The advanced skill drop packs, which is... Eh, I, I want advanced protection vials. I always want that, but then they, they'll never give it, so I guess it's okay. Um, Charm material packs is okay. So yeah, 8,000 is a little bit lacking for me. Uh, 10,000 is okay-ish. You know, at minimum, if you really can't wait, if you're that impatient, okay, you can go for the 10,000, all right? Um, but yeah, in terms of items, they have Miyokubus again, which is okay. Eh, advanced skill, trial packs, charms, same thing. Yeah. Not the best. 20,000. Um, 20,000 is okay. Uh, it's, uh, it's actually decent. Not just okay. Yeah, they have refines. Um, they have level 7, uh, level 7 Maga. <laughs> I forgot there was a level 7 Magatame here. No to that unless you're in a new server. Then I guess that would be a huge power boost and it will help you in Sage and stuff. But other than being in a newer server, I just don't like that middle one. And then there's the Secret Skull Packs, which is kind of nice. Eh, on and off. And then there's the 30,000. Um, Fuku optional pack 3 is nice. Yeah, 30,000 is the best. Um, it's an okay value. Uh, yeah, 3 out of 5 just in general. 3 out of 5 overall, actually, just based on the events and the Fuku value. Um, in terms of the actual Fuku value, maybe 2.7 out of 5, 2.8 out of 5. Um, maybe up to 3 at most if you really need every single thing that's out here. But yeah, that's it. All right, let's go over the re uh, events in general. Recharge, though I'm not recharging, uh, they have, let's see, Swimsuit Minato and Rage Obito, I mean, uh, 
I don't do Rage Obito. 25,000 is, you know, at least they probably should just make it 20,000, to be honest. If you want to spend that much money. I honestly think the recharge rebate is overpriced just in general, but they're always going to stick at, at 25,000, 30,000, or 40,000. Maybe six. I don't. I don't know if I've ever seen sixty thousand. But yeah, Rachel Batos no. But they do have a chance of training potions, so that's fine for the value. Wait, they have a level seven Magatama again, dude. We're re okay. If a whale is recharging, chances are they already have Magatamas to like a really high level. Don't put Magatamas. That's my feedback to Oasis. Anyways, um, new total recharge repack. Sunsu Minato. I thought it was fun. Yeah, what was that? Oh, I thought I heard someone. Okay. Um, new total recharge repack. Sunsu Minato sounds fun, but I don't think he's absolutely necessary. Unless you want to just go for fun. Because, you know, old ninjas get boring. You're not just always competitive. Sometimes you want new stuff. He's all right. Um, he's decent. That's that's about it. You know, he's decent enough to use for fun um, and not suck. Uh, Secret Scrolls, Auto Gover is... I'll go over their abilities in a second too. Rage Obito and uh, Minato. And then in terms of value, yeah, I mean, in general, they give pretty good items. So they're all okay. The, the higher, um, the more you spend, the greater the value-ish. Uh, of course, they don't give as much trade. Cave keys, 30 versus that. You don't actually probably want the 1,000 more than the 3,000 in terms of total value um, if you're a small spender. Though they give you more refines. I'd probably still take the 1,000. The 5,000... Uh, 5,000 seems to be a little bit better. It's, it's about the same on to be honest. And yeah, the rest is... The rest is only if you want the ninjas. I'm not sure the 20 training potions are actually that worth it. Um, yeah, just... Yeah, in terms of power, just probably this area, this range. Okay, crazy slot machine. Um, is it still here? It is. So it's gone from last week events to this week events. Eh. It's okay. I mean, rank... Uh, the level three, so for small spenders, dolphins, I'll, we'll say dolphins, um, the third prize is actually okay. For large spenders, not so much. They have a lot of choices, um, but the choices, you might already have them, or you probably already have them all if you wanted them. All right, that's, that's basically my guess. Uh, yeah. So yeah, at price two, I think our last spending video showed that you got one or two um, second prizes. Uh, it was pretty good. Susano Shisui, I think, will stay relevant at some point, just to counter some other meta abilities at some point. Um, that's my guess. Not 100% sure. Rizal Sosunari is always nice. Four stars, five stars, all good. Katsuki Hidan sucks. Katsuki Christian Kakizu, you probably already have him, but he's nice. Founder Madara can reduce people's critical rate, which can change the game for um, your battle. So, you know, he's pretty good. And the Ashura is pretty nice for the multiple chases and increasing resistance and ninjutsu and all that stuff. He's, um, in it, when you're a whale and you, you have the chance to spend on a whole bunch of ninjas, that's pretty good. All right, first, um, obviously you should not expect 100,000 coupons. <laughs> I mean, if you get 100,000 coupons, that basically pays for like three Fuku deals. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, chances are you're not gonna get it, but you know, Tentails Madara. Tentails Madara is now useful for Infinite Tsukuyomi, um, which we'll get to. All right, you know flowers. I remember this one passed, so we're gonna pass that. I just went over Fuku deals. Colored banner, um, colored banner. I think the only thing that's actually really worth it here. Okay, Kurtz Huchi. I still want to find a team with that. She's actually kind of interesting. Maybe some special team. But yeah, command flags the only thing here. Um, refines. Okay, I mean, okay, there's some good items, but in terms of value, Lucky Wheel's better in for power items. Gummy Curry's, ex no, actually, I think Gummy Curry's still a little bit expensive in here. Um, yeah, just a little bit. But I guess if you're missing a couple fragments, it's fine. Commander Flags is the only thing I would get from here. So, so that's 2,000 coupons from here, right? Um, in terms of Swimsuit Tsunade, which they're giving out, I think she'll be useful in the future. I think she has breakthroughs in the future. I'm not completely sure. I believe China has it. Um... She may be useful later, but that's more of a it's more of a bonus thing. You shouldn't rely on her maybe getting much better or having really a big use because we're still waiting for a really good female unit. Um, Kashina was there and then she became out of fashion. So, yeah. Okay. Um, then we have time limited for the spenders and also some free to play people. You get some free points. 
I don't, for those free, free to play people, I don't recommend you getting Toes Chance Shiraya Fragments because you might never get him. Um, he's pretty good. He's actually quite good. Uh, Wheels are using him. I, I think in my rankings, I think someone was using that team um, with Toad, Chan Toad Chance Jiraiya. He's also a meta for the Infinite Illusion with, I think someone mentioned Tentails Madara, Infinite uh, Ashura, and Toad Chance Jiraiya. Um, that apparently was like a whale team that was better than any other team that we could find. Um, Kimono Shisui is out of fashion. He's fun, but out of fashion, unfortunately, because everyone's immune to ninjutsu or they're six fast Naruto, and you can't actually chase him because everyone's running chase dodge. Ah, I hate that. Anyways, Secret Scroll optional pack um, versus Ninja Assist optional pack. Ninja Assist is the best until you max out the command flags and you can go for here. Right? Um, yeah, that's basically it for the any free fragments. Fable Choice, I remember, was last week. Good. Uh, Lucky Wheel. Um, so this is the best event, and Ashra as a grand prize is a very good grand prize. Uh, on top of being, you know, a meta for Infinite Illusion, better than Sheer Genma, I believe. Um, he is also, let's see, he, basically he's a future ninja. Um, at the moment, there's not a lot of rails actually running him in a meta team, but he can be pretty useful in the future when you have someone who's unmissable, much easier to have unmissable uh, chases. I don't think Tentails Obito chases his own mystery, right? Yeah. Or he has some sort of limitation, even with his breakthroughs. So it was a little harder to get Ashura on board, but he has a pretty good dodge. It's just that six pass Naruto can overcome the dodge, so you don't, you're not seeing that. But when we have another free to play ninja that is not six pass Naruto, that, can, that people are not using, um, and six pass Naruto goes out of fashion, Ashura will be much more useful. He also has a pretty nice ninjutsu and resistance buff whenever you get hit and stuff like that. Um, Susano Shisui, once, once again, I think he'll be a counter at some point. Like you can throw him with Ronin Zabuza and you can stop somebody's mystery and standard attack against six pass Naruto for one, but maybe other ninjas as well. Like Obi, like any ninja, like Ronin Zabuza and Susano Shisui will basically stop um, any of their it's offensive abilities, except for the chase, I guess. But the, you know, you usually, you usually have to standard attack or mystery for the chase. So yeah, that's like a thing I can see with Susan Shisui. But I love the selection here. Um, the ninjas, Taka Karen for one, even though she's more expensive than even the breakthrough ninjas. But yeah, Taka Karen is really nice for healing, um, not letting people have buffs and shields. Um, that actually is pretty important on the high level. Uh, I've seen that in space time, so it's pretty nice. Uh, the low knockdown shades is whatever, uh, even with the ignoring defense is whatever, but being able to um, heal a little bit helps. The best thing is gaining her standard attack, which heals over and over and over again um, whenever there's a mystery, especially in a 3 versus 3 arena, but then she might get killed in a 3 versus 3 arena, so it's on and off. Right? You might want to run her with a revival person if you do 3 versus 3. Dagasegatu is nice, 3 versus 3, Great Ninja War, and sometimes position 1 ninjas, uh, not position 1, uh, 1 versus 1 ninjas. It's pretty nice too. Good Ninja Obito is really nice. It's like you can pull the rug under your opponent. It's really fun. Uh, and let's see. Yeah, in terms, of, okay, so the power item here is the best value. So in terms of star value, if you take a look at how much coupons it is to whatever is in the, in the pack, it's actually not the best value until you realize that you can also be getting not stars, but training potions, eight of them. And it's pretty common too. Um, refines are also, bit more rare but eight training potions I think you know just these two things are really good and they're valued a lot so if, if, you act, if you factor that in the lucky stars is really nice and also we don't hate these two ninjas so yeah it's this is pretty, pretty much the best value in terms of power items of course if you don't want any ninjas and you want specifically a power item and you don't want to take any chances okay you can go to colored banner if you want but don't all right cave key Exploration, just make sure you do the thousand, two thousand if you are overflowing. Um, but a thousand's generally the best value by a little bit, doesn't matter too much. Sakura's Festival, you actually don't have to click on make a wish to get it, uh, it'll show up in your inbox, so make sure to collect it in your inbox. But they have some fun ninjas, I like that they do this. And Naruto's Ramen, um, most usually this shop is bad value, but sometimes you have something you want, like Kotetsu is in here, so if because um, we have the illusion mode on right now, infinite illusion mode. 
So Katetsu is in here, and you guys can get his fragments here if you're missing him. All right, because you do, you know, you can compete for um, coupons, and I think it's a time limited thing. Maybe I don't know how long it's gonna last because this is the first time we've seen it. But if it's gonna come back again and again, Katetsu actually might be a good investment for you. All right, uh, it's permanent. It's permanent. Okay. Wait. So is it not gonna go away and come back or? Uh, no. So they might just change the mode. Oh. Three different types. Okay, so yeah, Kotetsu's gonna. Okay, yeah, so Kotetsu's gonna be um, a good investment, maybe. So, yeah, for the people who haven't, who wasn't here, or you know, missed the month or something. Okay, uh, clothing style. I mean, you guys can do that. There's nothing else really. Kasame, you might complete that for Three vs. Three. A lot of Blitz and Three vs. Uh, the Arena. It makes things so much faster. Just, I would get the Kasame. Um, breakthroughs just for speed and three versus three arena because I hate anything else. Kimimaru and Edokirzen works kind of, but Kasami is still the best, right? Um, of course, you need other people with Kasami. All right, so yeah, nothing else in here to, worth mentioning. And then, of course, lastly, did we have someone who wanted to talk about Konoha's Tree? I forgot. Um, level one three. But yeah, these are the levels of Konoha's Tree. Um, it's not that good. So in terms of the rewards, um, and up, I mean, the tree is actually not too bad. I actually like the rewards in the tree, but that's not the main point. A lot of the rewards here I don't like. Um, like, there's no ninja I want at this moment. I'm not sure I have 10 Tales of Pain, but even then, I just most people won't get them. Uh, so you want to go for the Ninja Assist and Secret Scroll Pack. I think you should have enough for 30,000. If you spend 30,000 in here, you should have enough for the, the daily limit of Ninja Assist. Um, Secret Scrolls as well. But for the pers for the uh, the spending that you're going to see, about 107,000, I think. 107,000 coupons, you said? Or something like that. Roughly. Yeah. Um, Ninja Assist and Secret Scrolls. So you, you were able to max out Ninja Assist and then put some in Secret, Secret Scroll. And that was enough for the 100,000. So... Whales are okay with the power items. Oh, so I guess if you're a whale, this actually is the best value, uh, best value you can get for. Fuku deals end this. All right, so going over the um, tree real quick. Now, you're going to go through level 2 and 3 really fast, so it doesn't matter too much. But they're pretty good. Um, Takasuke is nice. Rainbow's nice. That's nice. This is the only thing I don't like is the experimental vial. Um, Green Ninja Obito is nice in level 5 tree, which you might spend some time in. Christmas Kishina which has an increase in critical rate when you use Chakra, which for whales can be a really good thing if you can make sure she's alive um, when you use your thing. Because critical rates can really change the course of the battle, especially when people have really high injury. Okay, Green Drobito is nice to pull the rug under your opponent. Um, just nice bonuses. Hiruzen is actually not too bad. Chikasoto is not going to be useful for most people. Minato is pretty good, even at five stars, you know, just run the barrier. That's still going to be a meta in space time. Whenever people are like switching ninjas here and tactics here and there, Minato is always just going to be there. Um, especially if you're faster, if you have more initiative on your entire team. And then, of course, level seven is great. Edo Hashirama, protection vials, everything is good. Um, unless you already have, no, actually, even getting four stars is nice for any of these ninjas. Okay, and then of course get the point reward at 1,000. Um, if you're going to spend somewhere else, that's fine too. Another command flag if you really need it. Some accounts really need it, and I, would, I wouldn't hold it against you to get to the 1,000 mark and then spend the rest in Lucky Wheel. That's what my last uh, guest on Fuku Deals did. Okay, um, I think that's it in, for, in terms of talking about the events. It's probably going to be more than 10 minutes, to be honest, because we have to go over, to, go over Rage Obito abilities now. Uh, and also, what was the other one? We don't need it. Obito. Rage Obito, the, what was the other one? Shh, on spending rebates. Christmas Kashina, right? Uh, Christmas Minato, that was one. Okay, Obito. And because the text is always confusing, because, you know, Kono's proxy says one thing, this one says another, they don't always put the, enough information or they're confusing. What we're, what's being said here might not be 100% accurate because of how confusing Oasis is. All right, disclaimer there. All right, here's the thing. So let's go over Obito's um, abilities. At the moment, 3 out of 5 in terms of our rating. Um, his mystery consumes 10% HP to, of a high chance of evading one attack and cannot be defeated by the first standard and chase attacks in the round, which is survivability. That's fine. Um, 
His attack consumes 5% HP, so there's a trend here. Causes unavoidable damage, which is nice, but only to one guy. Um, causing knock do knockdown and Kamui tag. And so what is Kamui tag? Um, apparently Kamui will, anyone with Kamui tag will have the evasion rate de reduced by 35%, which is not a lot. Um, similar to, it's similar to Edo, wait, New Year Tobirama, I believe. They, New Year Tobirama has something like that too, but it really wasn't that useful because there's still a pretty high chance of getting hit. So that 35% chance, eh, not much to say. Oh, but they, he also does reduce their defensive resistance by 15%. So it's kind of nice there, but it's hitting one person. So in the beginning of the rounds, unless unless you're planning to kill your opponent's entire support thing, um, Obito, Rage Obito, standard attack won't be that useful to you. But 15% defensive resistance is good. So if you can find a way to you know, get his standard attack up over and over again, then that is kind of nice. Okay, the combo tag glass until the end of the round cannot be dispelled, neglects immunity. Great, that, that part's great, but Kamui Tag is just not that powerful of an ability. Though I guess it could help in chancy situations, but eh, yeah, just not my thing. All right, Chase, 20 combo, seven units, absorbs 20 from each unit. Pretty standard, kind of like Asami, kind of useful. Um, in, in a three versus three arena, or three versus three arena and green injurer, um, if you're faster, if you're a whale, if you're the fastest person on the field, or maybe even the second fastest, um, you can drain the other side's chakra, which stops them from using their position one mystery, which is kind of nice, right? Um, so there is some use there. I see some use there. Um, Kisame seems to be able to survive longer. No, actually, maybe not. Maybe Rage Obito will survive longer than Kisame does. Um, it depends on the situation, because Kisame heals whenever a unit dies, so yeah. Um, and then he has another chase low. Chase low consumes 5% HP. That's another common theme. You keep using your HP to attack. Uh, knock down and immobilize. Ignore some defensive resistance. 50% chance to cause Kamui Tag. Why 50% chance? That's just... Kamui Tag isn't even that good. All right. Un unless we have some combination with something that we don't know. Maybe there's a combination of Kamui Tag and Tobi Rama. So let's go over to take a look at Tobi Rama. Because we might have future ninjas that does something like this. Um, oh, this Edo Tobirama. New Year Tobirama has Flying Thunder Tag, which reduces their evasion rate to 25%. So maybe if you're combining evasion rate statuses, then that would be worth it, right? 60% down, even 60% isn't that much. It's decent, but it's... Yeah, unless it's like a combination with different tags, I, d I don't see this being that useful. Maybe in a situational thing, but... Uh, it's hard to use, and if it's hard to use, generally you don't want to get them until you really need them. Um, though, I guess if you have a lot of ninjas, that's fine too. Okay, so that's their chase, um, and there's a passive. So the passive is the game changer, apparently. Um, that's what they're hoping for. Anyways, you can use two standard attacks around. Oh, okay, that is actually pretty good, because if you only have one unit on the field, you're reducing their defensive resistance by 15% two times, and it's unmissable, right? So that's actually pretty good. That's that part is really good. That I, I approve of that part, but this has to happen if he does he's not dead. And it's a battle between killing your opponent's support and then you can use Obito's defense uh, resistance reduction. That's pretty decent and that's actually pretty good com considering like Gemma Carry and a lot of um de defensive resistance decreasing uh it's like eight percent in general, or maybe Gamma Carry is like twenty percent. But yeah, thirty percent is good. So if you can make it work, he's actually really good. Problem is if you can actually make it work and you need really good ninjas and a really good setup and really good understanding. So you basically have to be an advanced player to make full use of Obito. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing that in space time. Maybe somebody will get it, maybe. And then everyone will start, everyone will start using it that way and well, it'll pop up, we'll see. What do you think will work good with Rage Obito? <sighs> At the moment, you know, Right, right. It's I think from the past to now, it's still always going to be a uh, ten tails field. There's ten tails Obito running around. Maybe in the future we'll have other really good ninjas that is consistent. So you could use Obito with your position one, and then you need someone like Rizoso Sonate perhaps, or Kasuga Shinkakazu perhaps. Basically, somebody that will revive. Um, 
And th hopefully you're not fighting against 6-pass Naruto because if you try to revive with 6-pass Naruto and he gets an extra standing attack and he kills you, it's kind of pointless. But because um, we're not using 6-pass Naruto, this actually can be used... Oh, wait, we can't even use 10 tails Obito. That's a problem. Now let's think about it because this is o also Obito. Huh. Okay. I mean, Edo Madara, <laughs> that's the only option that I can think of left because you can't use Obito with Obito. And also any other position one that's not Obito that can defeat Obito or at least is on par with Obito. All right, so the only other one that I can think of is Edo Madara and then rival like Akatsuki and Shinkakazu or actually even maybe Sage Kabuto would work. No, no, I mean, he revives every single round, but then he, get, he gets killed because Obito has this ability thing. Uh, okay, maybe just the only thing I can think of is Edo Madara and one, somebody that gives him a lot of survivability. But anyways, Obito does still have some survivability. So on this bottom passive, we haven't gone through everything. When Obito's HP reaches 50%, he enters Rage Mode, recovers 50% HP. This skill is active even when he's controlled, which is awesome, which I think also includes Ignition. I think that's what I saw in Senbun's video. Um, yeah, under Rage Mode, Obito's damage is increased, his skill set is enhanced um, under Rage. So the people who talk to me about his mystery ability, it just seems like it's an improved damage and that's it. Uh, that's, yeah, doesn't really seem to do much more. Uh, and I guess he just, his damage is based on reducing defense or resistance, which is, to be fair, a high amount, but it's not enough as a position one. He's more of a support. But he could be fun in arena because that doesn't actually matter too much when you uh, stack. It's a limited, limited amount of stacking you can do. So let's see, he, can, he gains an extra standard attack when he defeats a unit with a standard attack. So if you're position one and you're defeating people with standard attacks, okay, fine. So if you can set it up so that you can somehow lower the HP on everybody, then you can standard attack, standard attack, standard attack. That's fine, right? Now we have those uh, assist ninja cards that increase your attack in ninjutsu whenever you cause knockdown or low or something like that. Maybe you can run something like that and he'll increase his attack, ninjutsu, defense, and resist. Uh, lower their d defense and resistance, re uh, defense and resistance. Maybe a combination of this stuff. You can throw in fireman and lower the critical rate and ninjutsu. You know, a whole bunch of like super stat reduction and increase. That that sort of a team maybe would work with him. Uh, that's that's kind of stretching it at the moment, but I think you could make it work later. Okay. Anyways, um, and ex Thanks. executes. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Okay, uh, so enhanced divin so this the bottom thing executes enhanced divinity combo transfer at the beginning of every round. Okay, so I'm not really sure what that does. I mean, if if you're able to do something like Granger Obito and remove somebody from the, the field, that would be really good. But like people who have him right now hasn't said anything about that, so um, we'll see. It feels like he'll still get killed and or controlled or something. So. I don't know if that ability will activate. We'll have to see. I'll do a future video of somebody testing it out or something. Um, and we'll see how good he is at the moment. I would still hold off on getting him. Um, even though he has all these abilities, unless you have a really good idea of what you want to do, a team you want to build, um, I suggest you build that team, have that concept in mind before you get him. Uh, because he can be really good in this situation, but it's just... We don't know what ninjas we can throw with him that would actually work because right now we have really strong supports and having such a untested and risky guy here, um, it's hard. But he, I will give him the survivability. Um, if you can throw in another person like Ruzo Sosnati for extra survivability, yeah, I mean he'll survive for a while. He might be able to do something. Okay, that's my analysis on Obito at the moment. It, it's, it's not complete. Uh, but because we still have to have a lot of test runs, but we'll have to see. The other one in recharge is Minato, right? Minato, uh, Christmas. Oh man, this is gonna be long. I'm gonna have the three times your spending video because it was like an hour or so. All right, Christmas. How did I get? It's okay. Swimsuit. Sorry, not Christmas. This guy. Yeah. All right. So let's go over his mystery first. Win combo, five, nine units. Five combo to nine units, knockdown. Pretty typical. Um, suffer from Flying Thunder tag. This skill damage increased by 40%. It 
and causes you interruption. But it's not undodgeable, which is a red flag for me-ish. Unless his other abilities make up for it. So his attack reduces... Oh, he increases his attack by 6% um, when he does a standard attack. It's not a lot decent. But here's the thing. His mystery, his attack, his chase, they're all taijutsu and ninjutsu. Which is basically the same thing as 3% attack and ninjutsu, which is not a lot. Alright, so, so far, not very good. Chase, uh, low knockdown, flying thunder tag. What is flying thunder tag? We'll have to... I'm going to look that up in Kona Proxy. Or if one of you guys can look up what Flying Thunder Tag is, um, you could type it out and we'll be able to see by the time we get there. Okay, so attack so far is not so good. Chase is low knockdown, Flying Thunder Tag. Skill never misses. Okay, I appreciate that. So you can use something like Green Ninja or Madara. Yeah, if you use Green Ninja or Madara, Mystery, and you don't miss because the guy doesn't have dodge. Most people have dodged. No, Edo Madara and Tenzo Zobito doesn't have dodged. Okay, so it's only six past Naruto that this won't work on. But yeah, low knockdown, flying thunder tag. When your lineup chakra is higher than 60, um, Minato will steal the standard attacks of that unit. Okay, so that's the catch. Standard attack increased by 3% total because um, 6% attack is just 3%. Uh, it's okay. You're only hitting a line in units also. That's even... Even Kakuzu is better. The Earth Gorge Kakuzu is better. So, I mean, even though you're stealing standard attacks, I guess you can use this on somebody. Okay, so if you're able to have somebody... If you're able to lower somebody's... Hmm, okay, actually, you know what? So against Edo Madara... Um, no. Edo Madara has super armor level 2. That's a problem. So if you're faster, it would work. If you're slower, it's not. Tendo Zobito doesn't have super armor, so he's going to get that. So you, you'll stop his standard attacks, but his main thing... Well, his standard attack is part of it, but it's not his only form of attack. So um, it's helpful, but not enough. Uh, it would, you know, it would be helpful if his standard attack reduces defense and resistance. I would accept that, right? But it doesn't, and so putting him as position one just isn't, isn't very good. Yeah. Stealing standard attacks is nice, but his, his other abilities just don't have, don't have enough. Um, passive 4, if Minato is alive, whenever units in your lineup execute a chase attack, increase that unit's combo rate by 6%. Huh. And recover 10 chakra. Alright, so chakra thing is good. The combo rate thing, I actually think is actually decent. So if you're using Edo Madara and you're finding another Edo Madara, um, chances are you might be able to stop the other guy from hitting you and chasing you, dealing extra damage. Um, and poison damage, I think. Uh, so that could work. Same thing with Tentails Obito. No, I think it's a really high chance. Yeah, uh, combo rate at the moment is still not that useful, but it's a bonus. And then his last passive, uh, high chance of evading chase attacks. Uh, decent, 60% chance. Oh, units attacking him will have 65% chance of flying thunder tag. Um, whenever he's successful, he gains 6% HP whenever he uh, evades an attack. Okay, that's kind of like Green Ninja Obito. It's decent, but... A lot of standard attacks and mysteries can just kill them, so it's not enough. But Flying Thunder Tag, it all comes down to this. How good is Flying Thunder Tag? Is that the same tag as Toby Rama? Let me take a look. Uh, oh yeah, it is. It's the same tag as them. It only reduces their evasion rate by 25%. Oh wait, ev to 25%. Oh, okay. I almost missed that. Okay. He, he, uh, unit suffering will have their evasion rate reduced to 25%. Okay, so if you're able to somehow use this swimsuit Minato um, with our Rage Obito, you could effectively just re eliminate um, eliminate their dodge if they stack. They probably should stack. Yeah, they didn't say it was not stackable, so they should stack. So you could eliminate dodge. But at the moment, aside from 6 pass Naruto, nobody's really dodging anything, so... Uh, yeah... All right, so those are the two ninjas, and recharge rebate, and Fukuroma steals. Uh, yeah. All right, so in terms of these two ninjas, in terms of competitiveness, I declare this not worthy at the moment. Um, until you guys can find something else, and you know they're throwing this in Fuku deals pretty quickly, so you guys can probably get them in future Fuku deals. So don't rush. Just don't rush. Be calm, and these guys should be fine. 
All right, does anyone from the Discord have anything else they want to add? Anything they want to say? Questions? Stuff? Oh, never wanna go. Dress is white as snow. Saving me with no opposing me. And you would always see. Imagine we could be just like the movie slow.
set the fire burning in me All of the noise turned into choirs of harmony Left me with the pieces of forever that you broke But since you left me alone I've been
after all this time
Try to believe in anything greater than a miracle It wouldn't be this difficult if we We try to be a negative bull yeah. We could be taking control yeah. If we try to believe in anything greater than a miracle It wouldn't be this difficult if we We try to be a negative bull yeah. We could be taking control yeah. We could be taking control. 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 Good. 